All right, folks, Color Boss Custom Auto Body Shop doing some panel work here today. Some new panels for a 2006 uh, Toyota Camry. So what happens is these come in with this crappy primer on it and dents. Right here, we had a dent in this panel, so I had to bang on it with my hammer and dolly and then put a skim of filler on it to make it nice and smooth before we can get started. So what's going to happen is I'm going to shoot some 2K primer, some nascent primer on these panels, just a light coat, just enough to fill in the uh, scratches. Uh, these are sanded with uh, 400 grit uh it's a 3M film. It's the same stuff that I've used before on other projects. Here's what it looks like. You see, you get your little box like this, and it comes in sheets that have Velcro. Basically, this is upside down. Here we go. So that's the 1500. See, it's a film. It's, it's uh, flexible. Here's the box that I'm looking for. So this is the one that has the sheets in it that has the comparable... Like the orange will be 1200 grit paper, and then the blue will be 400, 600 grit uh, paper. And it's a film. That stuff lasts a long time and it works great when you're doing it with water, when you're wet sanding. So I actually did it wet and then I sand it dry so I can see what I'm doing. Now everything is all cleaned up. We've got the Smart brand. Uh, final white solvent wiped on this stuff is really really good I spray this on in a bottle you could also just soak a rag and wipe it on but I like to spray it so when you spray that in on a panel it evaporates like super fast super fast as a matter of fact if I could find the bottle maybe I can show you how that works okay let's see if we can find the bottle all right, I found the bottle. I've got it here in this very good, high-quality spray bottle. So there's my rag there. I'm going to spray this on, and you will see that by the time I even put this bottle down and go back up here, it's already evaporating. So then we move the cloth over. You see how quickly that evaporates? That's a very highly volatile uh, compound, a VOC, in other words. It is volatile, it vaporizes or turns into a gas very quickly right after you spray it on. So that's why this stuff works so good as a final prep because it evaporates off and does not leave any residue. So there you have it. We're prepped up and ready. Now we can go and uh, mix up some primer. All right, the Prama is mixed and ready in the paint gun. There we have it with the Harbor Freight $9.99 HPLP gun with the 1.4 millimeter tip. And here we have it, 42119 Select Prime 2K, hardened with the uh, Select Prime Select Seal 48387 hardener, ready to go. So we're going to put on the mask, go turn the fan on, and shoot our layer of Primer. Let's get her done. Okay, so we've got the primer shot. This panel went very good. Actually, my cheap gun had a couple problems because it was not properly cleaned and uh, had a little bit of spewing, but it did all right overall. So I'm going to lightly sand this with uh, 320 grit and then hit it with the second coat. Sand this one lightly with the 320, hit it with the second coat, and then we'll be ready for base coat.
Okay, so now I'm back on this. This is actually day two. And this is where I left off. As you can see, I started sanding over here on this side last night. This is the second coat of primer. It went very well. And uh, I'm going to sand this down with the 400, 600 grit sanding uh, film. And then go ahead and lay on the base coat. It's going to be time to put on the base. I got enough um, primer on here. I don't want to go bananas on this project because it's really just a new hood so we don't have to get a ton of primer on here just enough to protect the metal and something for the base coat to stick i also did get the uh paint gun fixed because it was spewing and spattering yesterday but i did actually have the ability to take apart the cheap harbor freight nine dollar <coughs> 99 cent gun so Let's just unscrew this and I'll show you what I did. And uh, something else, it's kind of hard to shoot paint while you're holding your cell phone in your other hand to take footage. I need to put this thing on a tripod so I can really show y'all how I paint. Um, so here is the flow cone and this still is fused to the gun, it won't come out. But I took this brass piece off. I unscrewed the whole thing from here. It hung on to the brass piece and I was able to take all this out and then clean all the gunk out from the gun. So there was some residual primer that was left in there. Some people think that you can clean paint guns without taking that flow cone out. Not possible. Duh. So we're going to go ahead and finish the sanding. And then it will be time to mix up. Where did I put the paint? I've got some black paint here. Is that it? That's, that's blue there. That's not it. Well, it's hiding somewhere in here. But I've got the Toyota black paint base coat. That will be ready to go. We'll mix it up. We'll see if we can get a little bit of a shot of that and then shoot the clear and call this one done. So here we go. Okay, surfaces are all cleaned up, sanded and wiped down free of dust and uh, sanding residue. So we're ready to shoot these fabulously clean panels with the base coat. All right, paint is mixed, ready to put on the protective gear. Luke, I am your father. Just kidding. <laughs> so here we have it. Paint gun is ready to go. Let's go shoot. I'll see if I can get you a little shot of me shooting one-handed. Okay, kids, the base shoot. Oh, the base shoot. I can't talk. The base coat. See, that's what happens after you've been working hard and painting. You can't talk straight because you can't think straight. The base coat, coat one and two shot. You can see that it is still flashing. The little shiny spots, but once it's dry, it'll look dull just like this. So once it has flashed, I'm going to take a couple hour break and come back and lay on the clear coat, and then it's going to be done. Looking good. Watch a look of that. Well, watch a look at that. It is all done. Clear coat applied. Two coats of clear, and as you can see, we have a nice glass finish. So these pieces are looking fantastic. I can see myself in it. Hello, you see me? I better be careful so I don't like bump up against it. But that is a wrap. That is how we do panel work. Now what I can do next is get rid of some of the dust nibs and do a wet sand buff and polish to make it shine like glass. But the car that this is going on, I'm gonna tell you what, these panels are gonna stick out like a sore thumb because they look 10 times better than what the car looks like itself. So we don't have to go to that level of detail. Well, that's all we got for this episode. This is Carlton Flowers, call our boss custom auto body shop. And you know how we do it. We just shoot it. <laughs>